Hi everyone, my name's Emma, I'm 38, a single mum and I live in Hemel Hempstead. I'm living with secondary breast cancer and this is just a video diary to give you a bit of an insight of what it's like living with the disease on a daily basis. Um, there'll be some tears I'm sure, but hopefully there'll be some laughter too. So hopefully you'll enjoy hearing from me. Thank you, bye. When I found my lump, my story is quite complicated actually, because um, I found my first lump, which was pea-sized uh, and sh your shape. Uh, I was in the bath one night washing and I found this lump and the first thing that went through my head was, I've got cancer. Um, I went to the doctors, I did everything you're meant to do. I got fast-tracked in a fortnight to the breast clinic. Um, I was checked out and sent away with quite a positive, you know, note. Um, and I found out just before Christmas in 2013 that, you know, my lump was just a lump. It was like a cyst or something. Um, so that was good, you know, massive relief. And then in, I think it was March time, I, I'd been keeping an eye on my breast um, because that first lump never never went it had always been there and then in the March of 2014 I found a second lump that had come under you know it appeared underneath the original one and this was more long a bit like um, a rectangle I suppose um, so I went back to the GP and I again got fa fast tracked back to the breast clinic um, when I was there, the doctor was quite condescending. She, um, she remembered me from a few months before. Um, she told me again that I was too young to have breast cancer and that breast tissue in, in younger women is, is a lot denser. Um, I had a mammogram again, I had another ultrasound and this time I had a full needle biopsy, which they didn't do the first time. Fast forward, four days from being at the breast clinic and I was in hospital um, and I was told that I did actually have breast cancer. You can't be too young. There is no such thing as being too young to have breast cancer. And this is something I feel quite strongly about. Um, posters in the doctors are all aimed at women over 70 are at an increased risk. Well, that might be so, but actually, I think women of any age are at increased risk. Um, and it frustrates me when young women are turned away as often as they are. Um, so what you can do is keep an eye out for any symptoms or changes to your breast yourselves. And the best way to do this is touch, look, check, TLC. Look after your breasts. Um, touch them. Only you know your body and you're the best person feel around and just if you feel anything strange or you know you're unsure of then um, obviously get it checked out go to the gp even if it turns out to be nothing it's always better to check um, look at your breast as well again you know your body and you will know if your breast is changing you might have sort of dimpling to the skin it might be sore um, you know the lump is the obvious one but it doesn't always manifest as a lump so it's just being aware of changes you know in in look as well um, and again ev anything that you find or is different if you start getting a nipple discharge anything like that go and get it checked out because the doctor would rather you went and got it seen and got it checked and were told it's nothing then you left it and worried about it and you know it, it got worse and worse TLC, touch, look, check, please keep an eye on your own breasts and also your man's because let's not forget men can get breast cancer too, it's the same thing for them, feel around, any lumps and bumps that you find get checked, if they look different, if the nipple inverts, anything like that, go and get it checked, I can't stress enough how important it is, early detection is, is just the best thing really.